Hey Viking, I'm just going to show you guys, for everyone that doesn't know, how to use the new custom hex editor. And I'm going to show you how to download it, get it all working nice and uh, nice and nice and easy way to get to get it all downloaded installed with no hassle and then after, once that's all done we're gonna get it installed we're gonna put it to work now you see here if you go to the download drivers you're gonna click on that you're gonna come to this page where it says tr download drivers try a new beta custom driver editor you're gonna click on the Viking 360 preset editor, it's going to open up a pop up uh, box for your zip file. You're going to click save. Now, if you're using Internet Explorer, you're going to want it to save to your desktop, or, or you could just open it in your WinWar folder. Make sure you have WinWar installed first. After that, you're going to you're going to minimize this you'll see a folder you'll see two things labeled setup and when Viking 360 install see mine are in a folder it's because I moved them there if you want you can make right click new folder title it Viking software that's what I titled mine after that you're gonna double click on the Vic the Viking 360 installer or the setup they're the same thing mine's already installed but I will remove it just to show you I'm going to remove it real quick. And then I'll install just to show you. Alright, see, now it's uninstalled. Now I'm going to double click it. Now it says the installer guide will set. Will guide you through the steps required to install the Viking 360 on your computer. Now you're going to click, click next. And this is just if you want everyone to have this on your computer or just you if you have multiple users click next next and now it's installing it takes less than a minute see now after it's installed you'll see these two things right on your desktop they'll install right here you'll have the viking hid bootloader custom bootloader and the custom hex editor i'm just going to move those to my folder i already have them so i'm going to click yes to all it's just rewriting them. After that, if you have any issues, if it does not let you install, it prob what happened to me was it told me to install the um, Net Framework uh, 3.5 Service Pack 1. You're going to click yes because when you click the installer, it'll pop up and say you don't have the, the requirements or something to that effect. has been is not met so you're gonna click yes and it's gonna bring up bring you to the windows like if you update your computer you're gonna click download you're gonna download the the net framework file and install it it took me about 10 20 minutes it does take roughly long but you have to do it if that's any issue if that doesn't work it also if you receive any if you don't want to click, if you click no, you can just download the latest Net Framework library from Microsoft right on the Viking website under here. It'll say right here, this line. After that, you should be all work. It should work all well. Now, you're gonna, and my mine's in a folder, so I open it up in my folder. You're gonna click shortcut to Viking 360 hex editor. Dot exe. Now mine's opening up. My computer's a little slow, so you gotta give me a minute. There we go, opened up. Now if you're using an Odin's Raven like mine, I'll show you this real quick. Here's mine. Tax switch is on the front. 3.5 millimeter jack. You're going to go to controller name, Odin's Raven. Now if you like the inverted LEDs for the slots, you can just click the button. Inverted LED slot 1 will become player 4, slot 2 is player 3, if not, it's vice versa. Okay, anyway, it's just, I like it inverted, so we'll click inverted for now. Now for the button toggle on, 
your slot 1 is going to be your your right tack switch you want to tap that to turn it on right tack switch hold to turn to switch modes now what mode we'll go with a pre-tuned rapid fire speed for one mode and we'll put it on Mo Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 now for slot 2 we'll do left tack switch tap to turn it on left tack switch hold to switch modes and let's put Call of Duty drop shot mode on and some sniper mode once you're all done with that you can go up to save s file then you want to save it and then you can save it to your desktop you can click the desktop icon or in my desktop I have a folder Viking software where I save all my stuff you can save it as anything you like and it automatically gets saved in a .hex file mine I already have one saved so you can just set, you can title yours Modern Warfare 2 custom preset or if you already have one name it something else once you're all done with that you're gonna open the shortcut to the HID bootloader it's gonna have the picture of the Viking the Viking V you're gonna open this up you're gonna see it's right here you're gonna grab your controller if you have a th make sure it's off you're gonna grab yes. your 3.5 millimeter jack make sure it's plugged into your USB port plug it in you're gonna turn your controller on hold the right tack switch if you're using a Odin's Raven if not hold the sync button and turn it on if you're using a Thor's hammer it's gonna go in the boot program mode boot mode if you want to call it you're gonna to go to open game port it's right at the top you're gonna select your the preset editor whatever you titled it modern, mine's modern warfare 2 custom preset you're gonna click open then you're gonna program and once it's done programming the loading bar then you're gonna reboot your controller you'll hear the windows ding ding you can and now your controller is ready to work right tack switch on off works just perfectly that's all you guys gotta do I um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make it work I'll see you guys next time subscribe rate comment peace out